Well, one thing I hadn't realized is that I always thought that the the brain development of a child was really more at the early stages of their lives, but the three different times of their lives now with the brain elasticity and flexibility for lots of learning, um, that that pre-adolescent or that adolescent brain and then again when they're 20 years old means that there's great hope really when you're thinking about self-regulation and learning and capacity building over the, the lifespan of the child. It's not just the early learning which is we always want to pay attention to but there are these other opportunities for this, this child to develop and grow and, and um, experience some great success. child goes home from whatever learning experience they've had in the school setting, that extra step with the parenting, uh, being part of the self-regulation and, and helping the child to really be maximizing that learning is really important and we need to, I think, find a way for that capacity building with the parents. That's a very important feature that, I, that was talked about today. That peer-to-peer -peer interaction is so important and so relevant to the whole maximizing of the, the opportunities for the child too in the classroom setting. So whatever self-regulation happens for all of the children is important. It's not just for that one child who really needs that or that five children that really need that in the classroom setting. It's for all the children.